Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the show. It's your boy D. Welcome to my show, man. Today I'm talking with my best friend about, and we joke about it a lot, but we we sat down today and we had a pretty serious conversation about something that's going on in the news. If you didn't hear, there was a mom here in Florida that was banned from the school pickup line because of her OnlyFans promotion that she had on her car. Now I have a, I take issue with that, but my friend he had a couple of different perspectives on the subject that I thought made a lot of sense. But still, I have my opinions on on OnlyFans and the school line. So I'm not going to keep you too long here up in the front. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the conversation with my friend here on the Darren Harris podcast. Thanks for joining me. Stick around. Hold on one second. We'll be right back. Look for Starbucks coffee in a grocery store near you, then sit back and enjoy the exceptional taste of Starbucks at home. (laughs) Anyway, I'm here with my best friend in the world and also the producer of my show, Mr. Jesse Yandel, has joined the Darren Harris podcast today. What's up, man? How you doing? How am I doing? Oh, there's yeah. applause. Yeah, you got I'm, applause. I'm, I'm fair. I'm fair. I'm fair. Thanks for having me. Okay. What you wearing? Some sort of Texas hat or something like that? What do you mean? What am I wearing? It's <laughs> who am I wearing? Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 so uh, we was having this conversation the other day. And um, there's a news story here in Florida that well you you don't you don't live in florida anymore so i want to ask you what you thought about there's a lady here who at a christian school she pulled through the drive through at the christian school and she was ultimately barred from driving her vehicle to the christian school because of the promotion that she had on the back window of her car for her only fans page now there's a lot of outrage <laughs> I mean, a lot has changed since you told me about the story first. Right. It, I, well, I, yeah, I, I understand that because I just became privy to the Christian school part of that also. Right, However, which does make total sense. When you first told it to me and you can't come through the parent pickup line with your OnlyFans bumper sticker, at Angie. But what about... Um, what about um, a regular school? Well, like you probably were, can't if have were, any. If it were such and such middle school down here. Well, it's a Christian school, and so they have, uh, that's private. Well, I'm, what, well, what about a public school? Well, they're going to, you're going to have to spread the wealth. You can't just single out people. There's a lot of offensive bumper stickers and automobiles and t shirts and hats. And... Yeah, but there's not a lot of, not a lot of bumper stickers out there that say, you know, www, come watch me shake my ass for this cash.com. There are some, though. And at YouTube and uh, other addresses, there's even signs on the door that says, I'll sell you a house. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Right, but we all know what OnlyFans is. I mean, everybody knows what OnlyFans is. I mean, I don't know if still- everybody knows. Well, a lot of people do. I mean, I'm I'm assuming that most adults, if you're if you're alive and breathing, the majority of us will recognize, especially over the pandemic, because that's really when it really became popular. Would know what OnlyFans is, and really, what it is is exactly that: is is getting your shit railed out for some cash over the internet. Now you have links and you have promotions for your site. Now, if you're a regular person, cool, whatever. But think about it like this. I'd like, like I said, what if I'm, what, what, what if somebody's riding through this, this, this line with their OnlyFans and this teacher happens to see this OnlyFans and remembers the, oh yeah, you got OnlyFans, miss such and such. And then goes and goes and checks in on, not on school computer, but on his phone or at home. 
you know, goes and checks out the OnlyFans. You know, maybe that's harmless. But what if this person has a daughter? What if this this teacher is some sort of douchebag? I mean, what do you say to? I mean, what do you say to that? How do you deal or navigate through that? I mean, because you're obviously advertising that you want people to watch your OnlyFans, of course. But do you want the the people that that school your children to, you know, basically? I mean, you you giving them an invite into your bedroom also? What the fuck? Yeah. If that's your job. And I've looked at the OnlyFans logo just now, and it's, it's not offensive. No, the, the, the logo itself isn't offensive. It's just what it represents and what it connotates and, and advertises in a school right. set, in a school environment around people who are young who don't, right, don't right. necessarily like the, have those thoughts as of, as, as of now. Like my, like my pot leaf sticker in the back window of my truck. Yeah, true, but you know, legalized that, and all uh, advertised. Yeah, but it's it's a plant, not your ass it's, or your dingling. No, but the, fucking swinging. But she didn't have a dingling or an ass on her bumper sticker. She had the OnlyFans logo and yeah, app, but if, Angie. But again, if I if I if I matter of fact, her OnlyFans I'm, logo, I wholeheartedly and, expect to see her ass in the air. You know, but and if she I'm, might just I'm be a, feet. If, feet. But Hers could just be cute feet. Yeah, but now I'm now I'm now I'm 15 or whatever. I've got you know some some friends that help me get access to this OnlyFans account. Let's not let them really not for yeah, nothing. Yeah, and a lot of 15 year olds aren't really into feet. Yeah, a lot of 15 year olds are into watching people fuck though. But we were, we're talking. You said what if about a lot of stuff. So yeah. what if her OnlyFans is really just her cute feet? A lot of it is. Well, that's cool. You know, go to Ole Fans and watch and watch. You know, my 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 the the person who I teach their kids or whoever my my friend or whoever I can watch his mother's feet on Only Fans. But then also, as long as I'm on Only Fans, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on Only Only Fans that I now have access to, and I'm fifteen. How old? I'm fifteen yeah, or whatever. Not without whatever. a credit card. Well, it depends on who who who. Well, th that that's not the only avenue because there's plenty of only fan leaks that are out there on free sites such as Pornhub and X X and X X X, uh, uh, porn hamps, all kinds of shit out there, and there's free only fans leaks. They out there. So if you yeah, really those aren't called those, leaks, but they're called ads. Well, they're well. No, I don't think they're called ads. I think they're called leaks because they're leaking them on purpose. It's not you an can ad. Tell, it's not, you can tell it's us not an ad because seconds. it says nah, it says nah, for full nah, video. Nah, if you want the full video, go nah, to OnlyFans slash nah. at Angie. Well, at least you get ten minutes of this. I don't I'm looking at her now. I don't need to. She's just painting her toenails, need, dog. But but I don't need. I don't need. I don't need ten. I don't. I don't need but ten minutes. I don't need. I only need ten minutes. You know, if she's got, you know, her feet on OnlyFans, that's cool. You can put your feet on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, you want some OnlyFans and you showing your feet. But, like, I'm saying these 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 people that aren't old enough to be on OnlyFans, whether they be whatever, whatever, they still have access to a lot of the OnlyFans content for free via the Internet. You don't have to have a credit card. You don't have to have an ID. And well, that's that a whole nother set of problems for that children stems, to be on the Internet. Right. Exactly. Like, I mean, they, well, do they not have parents? Well, they do have parents. But even still, if my parent is putting dick pics up on the fucking Internet and then somebody gets a free said that my parents said parents want to put out an ad on Pornhub and I'm some perverted 15 year old and I run across an you know, an ad of my parents railing each other or my parents railing the fucking neighbor or I mean, how am I supposed to? I mean, because that becomes that's, yeah, the child looking at the Internet, but also that's also only fans content of my parents in their fucking bedroom with the fucking neighbor. All the things you have just said are totally legal. Of course they are. But do you want your fucking children to say I never said anything about it being illegal? I'm saying about it being right for children to have access or those things to be advertised towards children because like it or not even though they don't have a credit card it's still being advertised to them because i'm sure at certain ages especially if they go to school kids can start reading only fans what the fuck is only fans especially if you're curious what the fuck is only fans 
and gonna only know. fans some kids is, are already some kids are already gonna know and they're already gonna be like oh man only fans is this and so and so and that's gonna make all it- right so stop and tell the story of the kennedy uh grandson running for president what oh, just well, happened well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's come back to Kennedy. Was it about OnlyFans? Real it quick. Was about, it was about OnlyFans. Okay, and that was on CNN, ABC, NBC. Right. right. There's stories on ESPN about athletes and the OnlyFans. This happened, and it was a scandal, and we're all ashamed. Right. And it's but I'm ESPN 11. is but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm 11 years old. I don't okay, watch and ESPN. And so you can't watch and they don't it, show, Disney? And they don't, I don't, but they don't show that shit on Disney+. Plus. I'm 11. I don't watch that shit. I don't watch the news. I ain't down with fucking CNN. I don't know about Fox News and none of that shit. I don't know who the fuck radio. is this Kennedy dude. It's on the radio. I, I, I listen to MP3s now. I don't listen to. I don't listen I to the fucking radio. You, I don't listen I'm to none of that shit. I'm talking about the back I'm a seat child. I'm a child. I don't your have access. Listen I don't to have the access. news on yeah. the way to school. Yeah. Well, I have my motherfucking phone in my face and my headphones on, and not giving a shit what my parents are listening to because I don't listen to their shit because they listen to old fuddy duddy shit. I listen. To to motherfucking Doja Cat, bitch. That's who I listen to. I listen to Trippy Red, motherfucker. That's who I'm listening to. I'm not listening to some some. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so both of those artists have OnlyFans as part of their. I'm lyrics. sure they do. I'm sure they do. But they are, are what they don't have are OnlyFans. They don't have an OnlyFans, and they're not advertising their OnlyFans. They're advertising their new album. That's it. There's plenty of charity that, that still- glorifies their OnlyFans. Nah, I don't think it glorifies their OnlyFans because it's probably just a song. I don't think the whole album yeah. is about their OnlyFans. But there's don't. a lot of lyrics that reference the uh, website. Yeah, I, but I, yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of lyrics that do reference the website, but it's not in the sole purpose of perf- promoting that. They're not. So if you're if you're a their child, OnlyFans. they're trying to promote with eyes, and you have also ears that work. You're gonna get it. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, but you're not going to get it. In, you're not going to get it directly sitting there, right in front of you, behind the other parents and the other parents and the other parents in the school bus line for forty minutes while you're waiting there to pick up your fucking kid. Yeah, I've there's seen the sticker. Oh yeah, there's I'm a, sitting right behind no you. I'm sitting it. right behind you in traffic. Oh yeah, OnlyFans, and this is this bitch right in front of me. Yeah, well. That's Timmy's the, mom shit. Timmy's mom. The law is on her side. Oh, nobody a private said anything Christian about, school could do whatever they want. Ab- no, no, I didn't say anything about it being illegal. Nothing about it is that I said about being illegal. I'm talking about it, it being more. So then you're welcome for, to do it. For these children, for the children that, that for them to be on some like, oh, it's wow. Not, because not once you nothing, get a, a taste of, of the OnlyFans money, children, a lot of shit who for children, cares about children? A lot children. of shit for children is out of sight, out of mind. A lot of shit, a lot of shit for children is out of sight, out of mind. And if it's not in their face, they're not going to sweat it. And that's why the music doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? But if it's in their face, children are very visual. If it's in their face, they're going to go, they're going to be curious about it, especially if it's catchy and colorful. And it is. Yeah, and it is. So, I mean... Where does it, I mean, where does the line, I mean, where does it, I mean, where do we say, I mean, I'm all about time and a place. I mean, of course, if you want to go get your asshole railed out on a daily on the internet, then you have every right to do that. Of course, you know, you can go out and do that, but. And you have every right to have a bumper sticker on your car that's tasteful. Of you course. can have a bumper sticker on your car that says "I eat ass." You absolutely can, but you you run the, you can say I know you eat ass, but I eat ass. But OnlyFans is I eat ass. But and here's the the link to watch me eat said ass. Now, should that be made available for children? Should that be made available? I mean, as freely as it is, because I mean, that, let's let's just be honest. This little paywall bullshit. There's 14 year olds that have already figured out how to get past that shit. You know what I'm saying let's let, 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 there's and not on top of that. There's 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 content all over fucking Twitter. There's fucking content all over fucking uh, uh, all these other porn sites. There's this content you must all have over a different these Twitter sites. than me. Oh no, you just have to fucking go look up the the you. Oh, 
All you have to do is look up a porn star or whoever it is, and, and a lot of oh, times no, it's not no, even no. porn this stars. Is, it's uh, regular fucking people. It's regular work. people. It's I'm regular people. <laughs> I'm at the office. <laughs> we try not to look up porn here at the office. Well, I look up everything. Not, well, you don't have an office. You don't work for anybody else. I work for myself. I don't really work. <laughs> but I'm on the network. I'm 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 an American. I got a fucking phone, and even if I was on a network, they don't my network. That network don't control my fucking phone. <laughs> well, you have to have some respect for your employer when they're but you don't have uh, to have high any profile for some individuals. But no. you don't have to have any respect for some children. No, I mean I. Oh, okay. Good. I'm really counting on this money. Okay, I understand. So, <laughs> I get it. All right. Well. Yeah, you just don't look up some things. You don't do at work. Well, you know, I mean, I like, understand, but a lot of people aren't at work. A lot of people are in their free time, and a lot of children have a lot of free time, and they look these things up. These things get looked up. I'm not saying that you do or you have to. I'm right, and that that happen. goes back to I'm the house these and happen. the parent. I'm, I'm saying, for me, as a parent, if there was another parent promoting their OnlyFans, I might have an issue with it if I come home and my son has figured out how to view such and such as mom's OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Or, well, why is this chick you know, advertising her only fans in front of my child. I don't want my child to have access to that. I well, mean, or, or, or on my least, side of the street. My, my, I, mean, my, my, I mean, I understand, but I mean, my I son I raised need, four my, children in the information age, living in my house 365 days a year. Right. But and you, I'm sure but some you of didn't them have an, snuck but around. You didn't have an OnlyFans. But you didn't have an OnlyFans. I only didn't fans. have an OnlyFans. You, but you also, and you also had morals and you also had things that governed your children. And now there's No, but I had control there, there, over there, the children also, and what they also, saw. You also stayed with your wife. You also are with your wife. So you had a strong, solid household. There's not a lot of that out there. There's a lot of, I got to work and you have to stay home and fix you food and I don't have a man and there's a lot of other there's a lot of other factors that play and there's also other factors that play in other communities not just I mean there's a lot of shit that comes to play and do I want that do I want my kids to have access to that you know I mean and I get it you know this is America and you know and, and, and motherfuckers in America got their crotch out fine you know I mean and that's what the fuck it is and you know it, it just yeah. welcome. to me I'm sorry I said welcome yeah, well, I mean, I've been here. Yeah, you know I mean, I, it's not like this is a new thing yeah. to me, but it, no, it's, freedom it's, ain't it's, free. I, I, I've been here, and and but the thing about it is, is in my opinion, the crotch has always been the lowest common denominator. That's always been the lowest common denominator. It's, it's, and it was the first denominator. Yeah, exactly. It's which which it was the easiest denominator, and that's the thing. It's it gotten became, harder over the years. <laughs> It's easy. It's an easy thing to do. It's easy to go out and fucking spread your legs and make some money. It's easy, but not for a guy. Not for a guy. It's hard to go out and get your dick sucked and make a little bit of cash. Well, you you can make some cash. Just yeah. How much, much would cash. you pay me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got to give me money. You have to give me money to suck my dick. <laughs> but I'm the prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cough it up. Of some straight roll reversal. I, you probably twenty dollars on some fucking blowjob at gunpoint on some <laughs> I robbed a bitch for a blowjob. Well, that's called something else. Yeah, that's uh, that's forced. <laughs> uh, that's forced uh, abuse. Rape is what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, um, like I said. As far as promoting your, I mean, if that's how you get get it, how you live it. I mean, really. But in my opinion. Yeah, I've been telling you for a long time to get it on your vehicle. I wanted to say YouTube at yeah, but it, Darren but Harris. See, I'm not doing that. I'm not. But see, that's the thing. I don't I don't really want to do that. I don't. I mean, and the reason and I'll tell you why I don't really care to do that. And I don't because for one, I don't want that shit all over my car. Forward. It's not all over. It's one yeah, thing. Yeah, I, even still, I don't want it on there to begin with. The only thing I want on my car to say is what the car is. Like if I have, like, if I still have my three twenty eight, the last thing I'm gonna put on the back window is some YouTube shit. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the RV. Well, maybe the RV, maybe you know the RV, maybe, but and custom the, sail on the sailboat and give YouTube their logo. So yeah, here's the next I mean, question. Here's I mean, the if, next if, question. If, if that's what I'm doing, 
if that's can what you I'm be doing, bought? If can I'm, you if be I'm bought? promoting, if I'm promoting my RV and my life and my RV, fine. I'm promoting my life and my RV on my YouTube. But it's my life and my RV. Now, if I was promoting my life and my RV while I was running around banging the shit out of everybody in the country, that would be on my fucking OnlyFans. Now, do I want to necessarily have that on the back of my RV? Once you taste that money. No. See, that that's and that, my friend, is where you and I differ. Because No, I don't money. differ. I, well, I don't okay. differ. Or, well well, I mean, well me. No. You, well, me I can't be that, bought. Me in that ideology, me in that particular ideology, because nah, I'm not doing. It. I don't give a fuck how much money you give me. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I'll give you ten million dollars. You can keep that ten million dollars. I don't give a fuck because there's there's it's obviously it's obvious to me it wasn't meant for me to have that money if I have to do something to degrade myself to get it. Never gonna fly. Never gonna fucking happen. Now, if I willingly, if I want to, and you want to, I, if I just whooped my shit out and you want to give me $10 because I whooped my shit out, you thought it was worth, oh, well, fine. Thank you for giving. But no, 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 no. I'm not going to whoop my, I'm, I'm not going to do this, whoop my shit out, and then put it up and say, and then ask for $10 million because I whooped my shit out. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not, and the reason why is because I'm not going to sink myself to the lowest common denominator to get money. I'm not gonna the I'm not gonna use my fucking crotch when I have so many other talents to get money. And I don't want the easy way. And that's the easiest way to get it is to exploit the shit out of yourself. And that's really what you're doing is you're exploiting yourself for money. And I don't call it I mean I I, I mean people call it sexual being sexually liver I, I I call it hoeing. That's what you're doing. You're a digital hoe is what you are. You're an internet hoe. You're hoeing yourself out for some cash. And okay, you with your, you're the same person. I'm with my husband only. Only I ain't never been with nobody else. Okay, you're still hoeing yourself out. You're still, you're still degrading yourself out. You're still putting yourself out there in a, in a private, putting your, your, your private space out there in the public, which re raises another question. Do I want people in my fucking bedroom? I mean, what's intimate between me and my wife is what's intimate between me and my wife. This is between me and her. You know what I'm saying? When I invite the fucking masses to watch me and my wife get it on, how much, I mean, do I really care about her? Do I respect her? Do I respect myself? All for some fucking money? Nah, I ain't doing that. I'm not going that route. I'm, I'm definitely not going to do that. I mean, that's a reason that I wouldn't really be a good only fans candidate because, you know, I, I shit like that I value. You know, I value shit like I, I, I really do. And I've always valued shit like that, because in order for that to happen, a woman has to submit to you. She has got to submit her entire self to you. And that takes a lot for a woman to do. It uh, it should. Some women don't. I mean, it doesn't. It's, it's real easy. And a lot of times that's because of, of past trauma. There's trauma involved in that. You know what I'm saying? There's daddy issues. There's fucking abandonment issues. There's issues of people being, you know, just all, all kinds of other issues. So in that, I try not to take advantage of those things, especially when I meet a person. Well, now I don't have to do that anymore. But even before, I try not to take advantage of those things because, you know, this is something that, I mean, I, of course, I'm a man. I'm always going to be looking to get it. But a woman, that's, that's, it, it, it takes more for her than it does for me. So I'm always... I try and be as grateful as I can and also as respectful as I can, you know, about this situation. And if she don't want me to say shit, I ain't trying to say nothing. I might tell my best friend, but I ain't telling nobody else. You know what I'm saying? But as far as that goes, things like that to me are private. Things like that to me are, are like, like, like you refer to a lot. David Letterman sitting there with Jay-Z and all oh, you dating Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. What's that like? Mm, pretty good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody's got to know a bunch. Now, we know that Jay-Z fucking the shit out of Beyonce, but he know you know. He knows you know. You can see it all over his face. I ain't got to tell nobody. I'll leave it to your imagination. Mm, then there was Becky. Yeah, then there was Becky, you know, and there's 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 motherfuckers out there Becky and you know, and I, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's just it's 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 this even even. But see, even that was discreet. He just got found out. 
you know, he didn't only fans that shit. Yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna get found out. Yeah, for real. Especially if you listen, you you're the number one rapper in the world, married to the number one R and B singer in the world. You cheat on her, you're gonna get found out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna tell <laughs> everybody. That's it. <laughs> You're never one gonna R&B believe singer, where I was last year. Plus number one rapper plus cheating equals found out. <laughs> That's all there is to that. So hmm. look, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, people can do whatever they want to do. People do whatever the fuck they want to do. You know, mm-hmm. you want to have that is, that's the point. on the back of your car, cool. But Mm-hmm. I think that there, I, in my opinion, I think that there should be some discretion. If you want to promote your OnlyFans, cool. You you know, drive drive the Publix. You know what I'm saying? Where it's public. You know what I mean? Drive to drive to. I mean, well, you know, where, where there's where there's adults and kids, and you know, adults can choose to. But there's a lot of other distractions for children, and it's fast moving. You know, I can park and be gone. Park and be gone. I'm not sitting here for 45 minutes in this kids line. Awesome, like listening to the radio ah, while all the other parents in line are like, only fans, only, only, only. <laughs> and that's what they're doing. Of course, that's what they're doing. Of course, that's what they're doing, and that's what they're doing. And the reason why is because she's trying to make as much money as she can, and she yeah. doesn't care where she gets it, not even from her child's school. Right. And the other parents, they, I mean peers of hers in the in the neighborhood and that's the whole thing man if i'm only fans in i don't need the motherfucker next door knowing that i'm only fans in nah because it'd be knocking yeah all the fucking time hey man can i be yeah. in your only fans make it the fuck out of here you know what i'm saying yeah well and a lot of people are like that like it and is like, totally yeah, I, secret i i it's see totally I saw your only fans last night and oh god you uh, saw my only fans yeah and your whole fucking now, but see that's the thing if you're like that, if then that's the thing, though. If you out there only fansing, and then your next door neighbor sees your only fans and then says, "Hey, I saw your only fans," that's the ex- that's the reaction that you're gonna have. Most people are gonna be like, "Oh my god." Some people might be like, "Oh yeah, what did you think?" If, you know, but yeah, well, some people stand right up in it. Yes, people you know, will stand we have the fuck a- right up in it. We have a line of them coming through the podcast playground. They're interviewing them all the time. Of course. You know, they're young, beautiful millionaires, and I get it. Yeah, well, I mean. And it's about time that they started sharing the wealth, that you can go on to a website and make all the money. You can release your song on the Internet on your own record label and make all the money. I could put up my videos on YouTube and I get, well, YouTube makes plenty of money, but I get a fat check every month from YouTube. And I think it's about time that the money started trickling down. It comes right here to the house, not to some corporation. I'm not punching the clock. I can make music. I can show my ass. I can uh, video waterfall. You know, if you were looking at my YouTube page, it's like, man, this guy really likes waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but waterfalls get a lot of views. And a lot of views equals money these days. And people are on the Upwork and Fiverr. And you've right. got talent. And, and you can still, get yeah, money. And they're, st- and they're making money. They're making money with their talents. I mean, I mean. I think it's a great shift. I mean, but what do you want to be known for, though? At the end of the day, what do you want to be known for? Having your fucking face stuffed full of dick? I mean, is that your legacy that you want to pass the fuck down? Because you might be hot now. You might be hot now, but when your ass turns 60. Yeah, and that's how these 60-year-old women are, even now. Yeah, well, Like, yeah. people are mother's age. People are mother's age will tell you, hey, in the 1960s, let me tell you, I was a freak dog. That's what they and did. did the drugs That's what they did. I mean, free the 70s, love let's, not, and, let's not kid ourselves. The 70s was a time of free love. Well, in the that's, 2023s, yeah. they get on OnlyFans and they share it with the world. And that's, I mean, hey, and like I said, share it with whoever you want to share it with, but there should be some discretion in, in, in community settings. You know, you, you can't, you can't, a, a, a 15 year old can't walk in a bar, sit down and have a drink. Just can't do it. 
You know, I mean, they can't even bring the bar to the school. They can't bring to the, you can't even open a bar a thousand feet from a church. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, whose I don't know. law is that? Huh? Whose law is that? There is, there's, there's, uh, that's Florida law for one. Can't open, uh, you cannot open a bar unless, unless, and this is because I, I'm in the restaurant business, unless the only way you can is if you have, if it's a restaurant, if you have a 4951 license, if you have a 4951 license, then you can open a bar. I mean, you can have a bar in your restaurant, even though it's across the street from a church, but you can't open like fucking shenanigans lounge, you know, across the street from, you know, Bethel AME. You yeah. just can't do it. But they can do whatever they want. No. But they can do At whatever the they church. want. At the church. Yeah, the church can do whatever they want. Oh, that's yeah. a problem. Yeah. <laughs> The church can do whatever they want, but that's a different podcast. <laughs> yeah. I thought we had separation of church and state. Listen, I'm going to tell you what. There's probably some church motherfuckers on OnlyFans. Of course. Of course. It's the highest monetized website in the history of websites. Now, nah, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know, man. Somebody's They're, checking right now. The that highest might be, history that, listen, in the history of websites. That could very website. well be true. I mean, YouTube has paid out a lot of money, but... They they haven't don't been around show a long ass time. Titties. They don't show ass titties. <laughs> no, actually, it's hard. it really is. actually right. they, hard they to do. Compete. They, they it's hard do. to compete with ass and titties. It really is, bro. It really Bear is. is the word you're you're leaving out because YouTube shows some ass and titties. If you haven't been watching yoga every morning, yeah, but I yeah, I guess I'm talking about nudity. It is. It's not. Yeah. It's not yeah, nudity. Yeah, zero, but. zero zero nudity factor on YouTube. But now and I do yoga have... every I do yoga every morning now because I want to be long and lean. Right. And I like to follow a couple of these uh YouTube yoga ladies. Right, right, right. I, and they're uh... not nude and they are not being dirty. They're teaching yoga, but See, I watch it's man motivating. Yoga. I got man, oh, man yoga, yoga? I watch man yoga because I don't have like lady parts, so they they move ways we can't really move, so I just stick to the man yoga. Okay, well, I'm doing beginner yoga for yeah. men, women, and children. I'm not advanced. Yeah, I'm on some, I'm on some straight up beginner man. And yoga. even some of the beginner yoga, I skip that move. Well, beginner uh, man yoga, <laughs> beginner man yoga is more like bending over to pick up, like some toilet tissue off the floor and standing back up, and I, I bent over. That was that's that's yoga. No, nah, that's not what's that's happening at my house. Man yoga. Because all I'm doing is bending over. I'm picking this shit up and I'm standing the fuck back. No. Nah. My exercise is the laundry basket and high folding. Yeah, okay. Laundry <laughs> basket, high fold. Yep. And then the laundry basket, two flights of stairs. Uh-huh. And, uh, cardio. Yeah, then they, then Very the, nice. you know. That's and I cardio. volunteered for that. I volunteered for that. Wait I got the laundry. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, some women get excited by a man that does the laundry. Listen, I'm going to tell you what. There was a lady who told me one time, she said, keep all the money. I have all the money I could ever need. The sexiest thing I've ever seen is a man washing the dishes. <laughs> yeah, well, I finally got to where it's okay to just put the dishes in the dishwasher and not wash them first. So it's really cut down the time on that. It's easy now. Huh. The pods work. The put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. Put the little pod that you're not supposed to eat. Run it regular. But them fuckers are poisonous. Oh, they are? Yeah, I'm tired. I, mean, uh, I guess the cascade. All the, we're starting to find out all the fucking chemicals and shit is poisonous. We thought Tide well, was great. They done banned You're not supposed to eat shit. it. You're not supposed to eat it. Motherfuckers would be eating Tide pods. I figured they'd try one of these fucking finish. I don't get it. I've never Finish understood capsules that. Also. Hey, take a sip of this bleach. Ugh. Nah. Ugh. Anyway. Any closing remarks? Closing remarks, uh Yeah, it's a it's a it's a scary, dirty, bad world out there. And uh 
That's just the way it is. It's nasty as you want to be here in America. It's uh, as racist as you want to be here in America. You can hoard all the cash for yourself. You can exploit your employees. Um, they do it and knock yourself out. Do whatever you want. I don't think that you can uh, put pictures of pornography out in public. I think there are some laws, but it's willy nilly. I guess yeah, I guess you're all right. willy nilly, and think... you know we have sites like this ourselves because it makes money. It does make money, and we're in the business of internet marketing. You know, we create content. And some of it's not, um, some of it's X rated. Oh, yeah, you know? I'm sure it is. You know, and I'll go ahead and plug it Dirty Blonde Podcast, spelled funny, D Y R T Y, Blonde. The Dirty That's right, Blonde. With, uh, Bridget B. Yeah, and she'll so tell. You. Mate. <laughs> she'll tell. And it's dirty, straight up. Dirty. Yeah, check and it out. She'll check say, it out. It's yeah. actually a good podcast. Check it out. <laughs> But I'll tell you, I, listen, I listen, and don't get me wrong. I like crotch just as much as the next man. But <laughs> I think, again, there's a time and a place for that shit. And if it was me trying to make some money, I'm just saying if it was me trying to make some money with my OnlyFans, I might have a little more discretion in the drive drive my only fans through well my there trials. are people on like, only fans doing physical things and oh, i sure. have a rip your body workout and you go to my only fans and it ain't free you gotta join me you join me and we're gonna get ripped every yeah. day but ass and naked there's also makeup there's yeah, uh, there are makeup. lots yeah, of things you know, let, let me get let me, let me let me clarify that there are other things on only fans not just it's not just you know straight you know, all the time, 100% sex all the time. There's a lot of 90% is, but 90% of it is out there, you know, because that's the, that's the shit that makes money. So. All, all right. Thanks, it. dog. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take a break. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to close the show. And I don't know. <laughs> this is Darren Harris podcast. Looking for a new podcast? Get our Backstage Pass with Gentry Thomas, who interviews the biggest names in movies, sports, and interesting people in show business. Hear the chats with Jay Leno, Spike Lee, Kevin Costner, Tim Tebow, plus Gentry's classic interview with the great Bob Saget. Get the questions nobody's asking. Subscribe to Backstage Pass with Gentry Thomas. Now streaming all episodes on Spotify. Well, there you go, folks. Thanks very much for joining me this week on my podcast. Um, what do you think? Do you think people should have a little more discretion? Or do you think you should be able to advertise your business anywhere you go? DM me and let me know what you think. Again, thanks very much for joining me this week on the Darren Harris Podcast. I want to thank my mom and my dad for being the absolute most greatest parents ever to walk the face of the earth. I want to thank my wife for, of course, being the best wife anybody could ever have had. Keep your hands off. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank Jay Yandel for joining me on my show today and also for putting me up to this and helping me along with my show. Man, I couldn't have done it without you and I still can't do it without you. And I want to thank Gentry Thomas for giving me the platform to do my show and to get my content out to all of you. And I want to thank last and not last but not least, I want to thank all of everyone out there who is listening to me and still listening to me and all the people who have listened and don't listen anymore and the people who have not yet listened but will soon. I really, really want to thank you guys for real from the bottom of my heart. So until next week, I'm Darren Harris. All right, then. Peace. You've been listening to the Darren Harris Podcast. Subscribe to the show, give a good rating, and everything you need to know is at DarrenHarris.com.